everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian. And I'm Shauna. <laughs> and that's Lucy and Ricky. <laughs> oh. This week's video, we're going to talk about tires. Yes, and that this can happen and will happen to you at some point in the future. Or a week or so ago, I think Shauna posted, didn't she? I did on Instagram and Facebook, yep. We were going on the entrance ramp to 95 North and this big giant boulder came out of nowhere. Yeah, I was driving in front of Shauna and the coach, she was trailing behind and I was able to straddle the boulder. I couldn't get on the walkie talkie quick enough to tell her about it. I look at my side view mirror and I see the Jeep you know, jump up like this. I knew she hit it. Immediately the TPMS goes off and says fast leak. So we pull over really quick. I check all the tires and then finally I look at the left front or the driver's tire, front tire, mm -hmm. and I see that it's definitely going down. So we get off the off ramp, pull into this gravel area, and I was able to pull the tire off and saw that as she, as a result of hitting that rock on the inside of the rim, it just put a big bend in the rim, which broke the bead on the tire and then obviously caused it to leak. What's the prognosis, doctor? Well, the rim shot. Okay. Rock, big rock in the road, bounced up and bent the rim. Broke the bead on the tire, so it's leaking right there. Yeah. And in light of this recent incident with tires, it got me thinking quite a bit about our tires on the coach as well as on the Jeep. More about how do you know when a tire is ready to be replaced? Um, you never know when you're going to have a blowout or necessarily a flat. But, and also, how do you prepare for all of that? And I know you would probably have a lot of good answers, but I'm clueless when it comes to all that. Yeah, so we'll talk a little bit uh, about that here in a minute, but we do want to talk firstly about our FMCA membership. We've been FMCA, Family Motor Coach Association members for quite a while. We'll put a link in the description below. And we also have a partnership with FMCA where we do videos for them on benefits like the tire discount program, the glass mm -hmm. benefit program, roadside assistance that not a lot of people know about, even members, uh, sort of obscure to them for whatever reason. So we've agreed to work with FMCA to put videos out there that help the members understand these benefits a little bit better. Unfortunately, or fortunately for us, I don't know how you want to look at, but we've had an opportunity to use quite a few of the FMCA benefits <laughs> that have been available to us. So I guess we're a good example of um, how it all works. Yeah, members that have utilize, actually utilized the membership benefits regularly, yeah. I suppose you can say. Barring a blowout or a flat tire, how do you know when it's time to actually replace the tires either on your coach or your tow vehicle? All right, so there is a common misnomer out there and it's probably due to old school way of thinking and you know tire technologies of way back when, but a lot of RVers say that a maximum of five years you should change your tires no matter the number of miles that you have on your RV tires. And I've seen that, that a lot on the <clears throat> forum. Yeah, you see that a lot. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to speak from experience with our Goodyear tires. I can't speak to experience with Michelin or any other brand. I would definitely recommend you go to your brand's website, your tire brand website, and find out what their criteria is. Goodyear, for instance, has done away with their age out recommendation for RV tires, and they've replaced that with an inspection criteria that says, you know, look for these things on a regular basis. If you see them, then you might want to be concerned. Right, let's go to the Goodyear RV tire website and take a look at the tire placement guidelines and sidewall weathering that Goodyear has put out. Now, Goodyear no longer ages out their tires. In other words, they do not state a specific replacement age for their RV tires simply because there are so many conditions that dictate uh, a tire's life. Again, check with your tire manufacturer, see what their inspection criteria is, and then go from there. I would stay away from the recommendation of every five years changing out your tires. Now, there are certain things you want to look for, just like in any tire your tread depth, things like that. Those things that you just brought up about the, the checking and the cracking and the tire depth are things that you do on a regular basis? Yeah, so about every month I'll check the tires. Uh, definitely wanna check to make sure that sidewall checking is okay. Our tires are about six years old and apart from a little bit of tread wear, the sidewalls, everything looks brand new on these tires. Now these particular tires are Goodyear G670s and they are regroovable. So as long as the sidewall is intact, everything is fine, then I could take these to a regroover 
And that's a job. Yeah, they can they can <laughs> cut recut the grooves in these tires. Check your tires to see if they're also regroovable. You might be able to save yourself a ton of money. Sounds groovy. Can you show me a little bit about what you're talking about? Let's go check the tires and we'll see what they look like. <laughs> Okay, just so that everyone understands, I'm not a tire inspection professional, just an RVer that has learned how to inspect tires uh, on my rig. So the first thing you want to look for to understand how old your tires are is a little date code right here. You can see that the numbers 2414 are stamped, and that simply means the 24th month of 2014 so these tires are just about six years old i mentioned earlier that these goodyear g670 rv tires are regroovable and what that means for you is that when you no longer have the proper tread depth you can take this to a facility and have these tires regrooved which then extends the life dramatically another check you want to do is to look at your sidewalls the entire sidewall and look for any cracking checking any splits goodyear is one of the manufacturers that does put out criteria that says if you have some cracking, checking, some of that is okay. And they give you specific limits on all of that. Be sure to check both the outside of your tire and the inside of your tire. That might mean that you have to crawl under the rig to kind of check those things out. Well, that was helpful, actually. I, I, did, I had no idea. Maybe you did. So now that we've determined that we may need tires in the near future, what do we do next or where do we go? Well, let's check out how you do that. It's actually pretty simple. You can do that online. And you do that like this. Okay, now that we have our tire date code and we've done a inspection on the tire, let's say we've determined it's time to get new tires. Let's go over to the fmca.com website. If you're a member, you'll need to log in and then just do a search up here for the tire program. You'll find a link that brings you to this page. And as you'll see, currently there are only three participants in the plan, Michelin, Hankook, and Continental, all very good tire manufacturers. Let's scroll down here and get an idea of what you need to do to get started. We're just going to go through one of the quote processes. We're not going to go through all three Michelin, Hand Cook, and Continental. They're all pretty much the same. They all have some slight variances in how you qualify and uh, how you go about registering your credit card and so on and so forth. So let's start with Michelin. We can click on the How It Works tab here and you'll see that there's a six step process that guides you through what you need to do in order to order your tires from Michelin the manufacturer so that they can then be installed by a authorized service center. By the way, all of the links for this and all the PDF downloads will be in our companion blog on our website, lifeuninterrupted.com. All right, let's get a quick quote here to simply click on the get a quote tab and you'll see a tire type and tire size drop down box. Keep in mind if you have a light truck, passenger tire, or in this case where it says truck is actually RV, if you have a tow vehicle or a towed vehicle that you tow behind your motorhome, you can also purchase tires through this program. We're just going to do the truck or the RV tires today. And then select the tire size. We have relatively small tires in the scheme of things. And once you select tire type and tire size, all of the options through Michelin populate at the bottom. You can see least expensive to the most expensive. So we'll start with the least expensive prior to any discounts is $309.83. After the FMCA discounts is $288.83 for a savings of $21. The most expensive is $495.51. And after the FMCA discount is $433.76 for a savings of $61.75. Pretty significant. And while you're going through this process, if you have any questions, you can call the Michelin RV Tire uh, Helpline, Customer Care Line, at uh, this number below. So that makes it easy for you if you have any questions. So what I have learned today, number one, is inspect your tires regularly. Yeah, so a lot of people will inspect their tires before and after every trip. That's definitely a good thing because you never know if you rolled over a nail or something like that. But a minimum, every single month, inspect your tires to make sure that they're okay. Yeah. Uh, number two would be check with your manufacturer on their inspection criteria. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna check with them to make sure that they don't have any sort of age out or time restrictions on their tires. A lot of tire manufacturers are moving away from that. I know Goodyear specifically, and that's what we have on our rig. They're moving away from that age out restriction. 
and telling you, hey, inspect your tires. If they exhibit any of these sorts of conditions, then you might want to consider uh, replacing those tires. Number three is consider a program like FMCA's tire discount program. Right. A program like FMCA offers definitely is a benefit because it gives you consistent pricing no matter where you are in the U.S. You know, you're not having to haggle and, uh, you know, negotiate yeah. pricing on your tires. That price is a price no matter where you go for that Michelin authorized installer uh, all across the U.S. I think another good benefit of that is that you understand or you know kind of what that tire price is in advance if you've gone onto the website and taken a look right. before an emergency happens. Right. So, yeah, you can do a lot of pre-planning. If you mm -hmm. know you have to, to buy new tires in the next three months or six months or next year, whatever yeah. that might be for you, then you can go on to the program website and say, hey, I, I can expect to spend you know, $3,000, $5,000, $10,000 for your tires, whatever that might be. But at least you know you have that pricing uh, ahead of time. Mm -hmm. You have a quote, and that's consistent uh, across the U.S. When do you think we're going to need new tires on this, on Frida here? So we actually have a lot of life left in these tires, even though they are six years old, you know, apart from any unforeseen accident right. or, you know, yeah. nail or something like that that's going to require replacement. Uh, I suspect these are going to last us like at least another 10,000 miles. So next you get to teach me how to change a tire. <laughs> so you definitely want to check out your tire manufacturer's website so that you can understand more about the inspection criteria specific to your brand and model of tire. If you want more information, certainly download the PDF documents that we're going to attach in our companion blog, and we'll put links to those in the description. We hope this video helps you understand a little bit more about tire safety, tire inspection criteria, and the FMCA tire discount program. And let us know in the comment section if you've used FMCA's tire discount program. And with that, we'll see, see ya. ya.